Yeah, it was one of those games uh, that it was so disheartening because at times it looks like, uh, look, uh, the Saints had put points on the board on uh, the last five drives until uh, right at the end. Uh, if you look, uh, uh, you know, you, then you're selling the field goals, you're not getting touchdowns. Uh, no, no, that that's bottom line is not winning football. But to tell you the truth, uh, we have not had winning football um, against the Bengals. You know, not that we've played a lot, uh, but the Saints have played the Bengals 15 times. We've won seven, now lost eight. And if you look at the record in the Superdome, it's no, uh, don't feel advantage. This is going back to the 70s. You know, last game, Archie Manning won in a Saints uniform, and the Dome was against the Bengals. And, you know, we've only won two times. We're like two and five in the Dome uh, against the uh, Cincinnati Bengals. So, uh, with that being said, um, I thought with all the players we had out, I kind of thought this kind of Hollywood end up that we wouldn't take care of business, but we really went in control of the game uh, when you think about it. I think I think more than even the offensive weapons, I think we miss more, a lot of more on defense uh, than when you look at the, the wide receivers. Yeah, just look at the, the NFC South. What is the Tampa Bay loss? Who did they lose? The Steelers? Yes, and, and, they, and then uh, the, the Falcons beat San Fran by fourteen. So uh, all of a sudden, I, I was about to say because I didn't think they were going to win. It was be all oh, the NFC South turning to the NFC doubt, uh, but the Saints are the doubt part. Uh, maybe the Falcons <laughs> have turned the corner because they've been playing hard. And Tampa Bay, what they're dealing with now, Carolina. What we about the, with the NFC doubt uh, with the Carolina Panthers right now? Uh, I, I can tell you this. It's a short week, and uh, we have to go to Arizona on Thursday night. Uh, you know, he said, oh, is it a must win? Well, well, we can't be two and five. If we two and five, you know what that means? Okay, we got 17 games. That means to get, uh, we'd have to go like eight and two on the back end. You know, when you're saying trying to realistically get in the playoff hunt. No, uh, I thought, uh, put it this way, I didn't think we'd win this game. I thought it would be an upset. But now we got to win on Thursday night against Arizona. So it'll be interesting to see who's available, uh, who's not available. Uh, now we haven't won back-to-back games in the Dome. And like Mickey Loomis said, well, you got to give something for the fans. Uh, you got to give them something to cheer about. They can't just be having the unbelievable uh, home field advantage like you have at Arrowhead in Kansas City or all the great teams when their team's really rolling. Well, we haven't won back-to-back games in the Dome. you got to go back to COVID. Uh, November of 2020, the last time uh, we've won uh, back-to-back games. Now, Chris, like you said earlier, if you would have told me that uh, we'd have 228 yards rushing, if you just told me that, I'd say, well, Chris, what was the turnover margin? And if you'd have told me, uh, minus one, minus two, uh, well, maybe – we moving the ball, we wouldn't have won. But if you'd have told me we had 228 yards rushing and we were plus one, I'd go, hell yeah, the Saints won. Now, the reason why I would say that, because I don't know, this makes you pull your hair out and you can't sleep at night and have nightmares because this is not happening this season. The Saints were amongst the best in red zone offense and defense. Well, not today. Let me tell you. You know, we came into the game red zone offense. You know, we were in the National Football League, big enough sample size, handful of games. We were number two. Not even top 10 or top five. We were number two converting 80%. You know, we were today, 20%. We were one of five. So we were all, all that. We were getting touchdowns in the red zone. Now, uh, red zone defense, uh, we were number two red zone defense. We, man, we were only giving up 33% touchdown, uh, uh, th- that ratio. Uh, well, today we gave up 100%. So right then, uh, you know, when the coaches break it down, they go, well, and this has not been a pattern uh, because we, we led the NFL in red zone defense last year. We've been number two. Not to mention the Bengals went 60% on third down. Oh, well, and, and, and we've been outstanding on third down. Uh, Christian, uh, you know, not good enough. Uh, with Yeah, uh, I, I look, uh, they were uh, 6 of 10. 60%. And we were 8 of 17, which is big. That's almost, that's 47%. That, that's good enough. And, and I have it where, uh, what well, we were ranked on third down. That's another area. Uh, we were outstanding uh, amongst the NFL or on third down defense. Yeah, only giving up like 29%. Let me see. I got it here somewhere in my notes. Yeah, or on third down defense, 
If you look at it, uh, Christian, uh, we were second in the league. Uh, I mean, giving up right under 30%, and today uh, they were at 60%. So just those areas, uh, third down defense, red zone defense, red zone offense, which would be excel that, that was not the case. Considering all the players we had out with injuries, I mean, it, it's amazing. we were. But you know what? In the NFL, so close doesn't mean jack. Either you won or you lost. You know, we always say an ugly win because uh, it started out uh, like you'd want. We were setting the tone. Look, we got the turnover on special teams. Uh, but, you know, Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase was nothing special. But look how they finished the game. You know, it was just unbelievable how we had the opportunity and could not close. This was very similar, if I'm looking, uh, that, and it wasn't the same time because it was later in the Giants game. You remember we were up by 11 points? Well, this is like well into the third quarter. You know, we winning like by nine. It's 23 to 14. So it wasn't like, oh, we got to play catch up and have this fourth quarter miracle to come back and win. No, it was a very discouraging loss because it was there for the taking. Now, uh, I don't know, overall, you know, when they got that rough in the penalty on uh, DeMario Davis, to me, um, Joe Burrow's out of the pocket. He's holding it to the last minute. And to me, that's not necessarily a late hit. Maybe he was a little high with the hit. But to me, that's not a penalty. The quarterback is going to hold it. Well, you, you, you can't touch him. So uh, to me, that that rough, and that was suspect. But overall, I kind of liked the way they called the game. You know, the only, that's just both teams, the only threw seven penalties. Uh, so, we like that. Yes, they threw three against the Bengals and four against the Saints. So 30, 34 yards. I, I like that kind of game. Uh Chris, we were able to uh, hold the ball almost five minutes more. They ran 71 it, offensive plays. The yes, ran 71 to 54. You know, 65, that's the, the measuring mark. And, and so, no, it, it was all, and, and for us to take it, so it, when you break it down, it goes down to when you're moving the ball and you get in the red zone, you can't settle for field goals. You, you have to get touchdowns. Now, looking at um, on the offense, I, I, I thought Trey Quine bounced back. After he played like garbage last uh, week, uh, last game against Seattle, dropping passes, I thought Trey Quan was outstanding. He was getting open now, only three targets, three receptions, 14 half yard average, had a touchdown pass. Um, Andy Dalton wasn't as efficient as he uh, has been, maybe, I think, in the previous games. Uh, but he didn't throw an interception. Uh, but it was just uh, steady. It wasn't nothing, you know, 162 yards passing. But when you're running like that, it doesn't matter. Look, Kamara averaged 5.2 yards a carry. Ingram, 5.1. We averaged almost 7 yards a carry. And, and you know what's crazy about that? We, we averaged almost 7 yards a carry and 228 yards. The Bengals were number 7 in the league coming in uh, a run defense. They were giving up under 100 yards a game. We had that at the beginning of the game. So there's a lot of weird stuff that went down. We look at everything. Uh, Joe Mixon at times. I don't think we played well against the run. Right now, our defense is playing good at times. We need our defense to play great. And that was not the case. That's think, where most of the stars are. And at least, I know you were without Marshawn Lattimore, but you got yeah. a lot of money invested on that side of the football. Yeah, and, and then uh, I think we needed to get more consistent pass rush without blitzing against Joe Burrow. But like Joe Mixon, look, he averaged... Uh, five point five and a half yards a carry. The team they only ran the ball fourteen times, but they averaged uh, five and a half yards. I thought Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase how they finish. I know their family members uh, got to be proud of them. Uh, defensively, I thought Demario Davis was this is the game he was the most active. You know uh, what we expect led the team in tackles, uh, nine total, seven and assist. He had a couple of sacks, a couple of quarterback hurries, two tackles for a loss. You know, you got to give your honorable mention uh, a ball to who, who played hard. And, uh, you know, we're going to talk about him. Caden Nellis. Caden Nellis had a sack, quarterback hurry, a tackle for a loss. I, I, I thought that's what we need to expect out of Caden Nellis. So I thought he came ready to play.